G'day and welcome to another episode of the Harley Roadshow. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're regular, welcome back. Well, at the moment we're in complete lockdown in Victoria, so um, well, especially Melbourne, um, so we really can't get out on the bike. We can't get, you know, can't get out, go anywhere. So doing the best we can at the moment to try and get through it. But I guess what we're going to do today, we've always got problems about um, trying to find places to keep your helmets. So I'm going to make a, a rack. Um, I'm going to get a few pieces from the local hardware shop. Fortunately, I'm a permitted worker. Here's my, my working permit. Um, but So I can still get out and about. I've got to get some other stuff for work anyway to, at, uh, down at Bunnings. So uh, let's head on down there and uh, pick up some materials and put this stuff together. Stay tuned. Here we go. So we're just coming into Bunnings now. And even to go to here, we're going to go through a bit of a checkpoint so they can make sure they're actually a trade. Here we go. Just gonna put my mask on. I feel like I should be robbing a bank, not going to Bunnings. How you going? How you going? Good yourself? Yeah, good. Awesome, mate. Power so, pass? Yep. Anywhere you park anywhere in there to the left, but if you need the trade, you can go down there. Yeah, you're going to Okay, thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So we're through. Let's go get this gear. This is about as quiet as I've ever seen buddies in my life. go got all the stuff I'll put a link in the description down below that's all the materials I've used let's head back home now and get this shit happening because we've got nothing else to do <laughs> rightio so we got back from the hardware shop now what I've got this is these duvalakis here and it's just a it's, a it's called a large J hook I'm sure you get it anywhere. I've got these, these are pre-turned just from the, um, I don't know, just from the freaking craft department. I've had to bore this out to 25 mil to fit on here. So what'll happen is this will go on here, okay? We'll glue it on, put it all together, then your helmet's gonna sit on there. Now once we've done that, I've got a couple of bits of this nice uh, Tassie hardwood, okay? So we're gonna mount this on there like that. I'm gonna measure it all up and, uh, that should be a nice little spot to put all our helmets. So um, bear with me, I'll start putting it all together. Okay, so we're just gonna mark up these and get ready to pre-drill the holes. But you make sure when you're doing any of this stuff with um, with hard, when you really wanna pre-drill your holes. Um, I should go 40 million from the end. Yeah, pre-drill your holes, just so you um, don't split the wood, especially you come coming close to the edge like this. Now normally I'll be able to just go from one tool to another, but some nice bastard broke into my car last week and stole the uh, the pack out of it, my tool pack, and in it with all the batteries. So I've only got one battery to work with, so thanks whoever that was. Just counter sinking a little bit so the head of the screw goes in easy. Bob's your uncle. I swear to God, if these pricks knew how much of a pain in the ass it was to swap battery to battery to battery, they would never ever do that to you. Piss me off the assholes. Thieves! Now 
So these little suckers here, you've got to um, bore them out to 25 mil so they'll fit on those um, on the hooks. So we're just going to do that now. Always make sure you've got the correct safety equipment on when you're using any sort of power tools. So we've got the uh, Tarzan's grip, just got the instructions here. Okay, let's see what we're going to do next. Just going to get a bit of this Tarzan's grip, squeeze a bit inside here, not too much, just enough. Bang it on there. Give it a bit of gentle persuasion. And we're good to go. One down, five more to go. Done. Okay, so you want to go, you want to, this is 1800 long, so you want to go in 300 millimeter spacings. All right, so we're going to go 1650, 1350, 1050, 750, going to give these a coat of stain just to make them look a bit more pretty but you don't really have to if you don't want to but I'm just doing it just because just because I've got nothing else to do like we're in lockdown so what else am I going to do
while we're going, we may as well give this a cut as well. Okay, so these suckers are all stained and painted and ready to go. That's all been painted. Ready to go, looks pretty cool. Just got to put it all together. Holes are pre-drilled. Screws fell on the ground. Voila, done. One helmet rack, done and dusted. One last little thing. I'm gonna whack this key holder on there. So when I get back from a ride, I can put my motorbike key straight on there. And there we go, all up, that's the finished product. So I think all up it cost me about 70 bucks, um, which I reckon is pretty cheap. Um, most of that was on the on the timber, um, which was a hardwood. Um, the rest, I've got to thank uh, my mate George, who bought me that from somewhere, which is a, a golden fleece uh, key holder. Thanks, George. Um, but yeah, 70 bucks, got the helmets up out of the way. I think it looks pretty cool. Once again, thanks for joining me on the Harley Roadshow. Really appreciate the support. If you can hit the like button, subscribe. I think I'm at about 290 subscribers now. I'm trying to get to the 300. We really appreciate it if you can hit that um, subscribe button. It gives me the ability to keep producing these videos and hopefully you guys are getting something out of it. So once again, cheers. Stay safe. Mask up. Wash your hands. Let's get out of this bloody COVID lockdown. And always remember, take the time to make someone smile. Cheers for now. See you next time on the Harley Roadshow. Bye.